this is god of here and this is my channel nerdy motivator and today before starting our topic i would like to give a brief intro to my channel since i'm new on youtube i post uh, superhero related contents and other hollywood movies contents and i also post motivational videos on this channel you can check out i already posted one motivational video and uh, so please like share and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome contents so without wasting much time let's start the video so the main topic today is that uh, the snyder cut early reviews are out and uh, and i have to say that the reviews have been extremely extremely positive and uh, i am not going to show you the tweets about the reviews but i am going to like summarize you about the reviews i have got from several sources what i have found from the tweets is that this movie is a lot 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 i mean a lot better than the first 2017 justice league movie it is not at all the same movie and uh, this movie is a roller coaster of emotions i mean it is funny it is sad it is thriller it is several emotions coming into one movie so i believe that this movie is going to not be for like only for action scenes or only for emotions it is going to be for several 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 feelings coming together in one movie and several fans have also said that this movie provides a beautiful closure to the dc extended universe and uh, that you will be asking for more of this universe going forward after you watch this movie so the snyderverse movement is going to get the pace higher and higher after this movie i'm pretty pretty sure and let me tell you about my predictions of the future of the dc extended universe although i have not seen this movie but i am pretty pretty sure that this movie is going to end in a massive cliffhanger as jack has mentioned in the interview he gave to ign so i believe that jack snyder's universe is not over with this movie i am pretty confident in that otherwise he would never have mentioned that it would end in a cliffhanger so far as my opinion goes we will see justice league 2 and 3 and ben affleck and henry cavill are not done as batman and superman respectively we are going to see the ben affleck batman versus joe man ginan or that stroke tv series or you can call mini series on hbo max and uh, we are going to get henry cavill in shazam 2 and black adam so these things are pretty much confirmed so far i am concerned and uh, regarding the news about the superman reboot that jj uh, abrams is going to direct i would like to say this i have also mentioned in my previous videos that where did he mentioned about henry cavill in the report there was no mention there was only a mention that jj abrams is going to direct a superman movie there was nothing about henry cavill the same kind of article was also posted in the you know uh, robert pattinson in 2019 was he a reboot now people can see that he is from a different universe altogether is he a reboot he was also told that he will replace ben affleck he will play a older sorry a younger version of ben affleck and now as you all can see that he is in no way connected to ben affleck or the dc extended universe so i do not think any of these rumors are true henry cavill is superman and i do not think anyone is going to replace him and ben affleck so far as i'm concerned he is going to have multiple movies mark my words multiple movies in the dc extended universe michael keaton is not going to replace him i explained it in my previous video you can watch it as to why i do not think that uh ben affleck is done with the role of batman but let's shift our focus back to snyder cut i am very very excited and it is releasing just in 2 days and i can't wait for the movie i can't wait to uh, see ben affleck back in action i can't wait to see live action version of dark seed i can't wait to see jared leto's joker and the amazing you know the dc characters coming together and just i am going to fanboy all the time all the four hours i am going to be like a little child 
who will see his heroes on the big screen. Finally, we are going to get that moment in time when we see these superheroes assemble. I always had a dream of seeing Justice League members in a live action movie coming together and saving the world. The 2017 version was not that what I expected. It let me down so bad. I was so disappointed but now I am so glad that the fans have made it possible. It's all for you guys. It's all for the fans. It's all for the fans that we are getting to see this day and I am so happy. So that's how I would like to conclude my video that the reception has been extremely positive and I'm so 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 excited to watch this movie guys so thank you and keep being awesome